Hey guys, what's going on? James here with GetOnStream.com. And in today's video, we're going to be showing you how to set up your stream settings in Streamlabs OBS if you've got a low budget PC. Obviously, you probably want to get streaming as soon as possible. Maybe you're on a tight budget, maybe you're saving up for a new setup, but you want to get streaming right away. Quite frankly, it doesn't really matter what setup you've got. If you can get on stream with a reasonable quality, then if your content's good, people will still come to your stream. So I'm going to go through this super quick. No BS. We're going to get through as quick as possible. I'm going to show you the exact settings you need. I'm not going to spend 10 minutes explaining it all. Just set it up like this and it will help you with your performance on your stream. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is head down in to our settings on Streamlabs, which you get in the bottom left hand corner. There's not many settings that we want to adjust here. You can leave pretty much everything at its default setting bar these two tabs. The first one that we want to come into right here is video. And in video, we want to set our base canvas resolution and our output scaled resolution. Your base canvas is what you see here on your end and the output is what your stream is going to see when they join the stream. So if again, if you're on a low end PC and you're streaming, you probably want to go ahead and knock this down to 1280 by 720. So that's going to give you a 1280 by 720 frame, which you can put, you know, your video on and your gameplay on all in the background. Exact same here with output. We want to put that to 720 as well. And then if you find that 720p is still lagging or your computer still juddering, you can go ahead and move this down a little bit again. I wouldn't recommend putting your base canvas down anymore, but you can go ahead and put your output resolution down a few notches. And I wouldn't go anything below 852 by 480, which is 480p. You've probably watched 480p videos on YouTube. They look okay, but they're not that great. But if it's the only way you can stream, then go ahead and do it. But start with 720, see if that works. If you're running completely fine in 720, you can then bump it up to 1080, give that a test and see if that still works out for you. In terms of your downscale filter right here, we're gonna go ahead and select bilinear. You can see here, fastest but blurry if scaling. So if your uh, base canvas is 720 and your output is 720, there's no scaling happening. So we can go for bilinear. If you do decide to knock it up to 1080p and then output is scaled at 720, you may want to try by cubic for this setting. The rest of these is going to be FPS type common fps values and then down here for your common fps value we're going to select 30 so you're streaming in 30 frames per second that's all we need to do in the video tab next up is the output tab up here in the output tab we want to have output mode as advanced audio track one is fine and this encoder part right here is a section that you're going to have to decide yourself so software times 264 is essentially streaming from your cpu and bank is a newer option that allows you to stream from your gpu so it really depends on whether or not your gpu is powerful enough you should do a search for your specific gpu and see if it is compatible with and bank if it is it's probably better to stream with and bank over software times 264 if it's not compatible, just go with software times 264. And I'll go ahead and I'll show you settings for both of these. First up is the software. So for software, we're going to have a rate control set at CBR right here. And we're going to first initially test our bit rate at 2,500. If you're not a Twitch affiliate, keep it at 2,500. If you are a Twitch affiliate, you can now go ahead and stream in higher bit rates. So you might want to go and bump that up to 3,000. The higher the bit rate on your stream, the better it's going to look to your audience, but it's also going to use more resources from your computer so start at 2500 especially if you're not a twitch affiliate if you're a twitch affiliate maybe bump it up to 3000 or so and test that out and see how it goes keyframe interval we do not need to touch we want our cpu usage preset to very fast our profile here should be main and then our tune is none and our times 264 options is also none so those are going to be your settings if you're streaming with software times 264 if you're streaming here with hardware and bank your settings are going to be a little bit different if you're streaming with and bank your settings are going to be a little bit different right here with NVENC. Again, we want to go with CBR. We also want to go for a bit rate of 2500. However, our preset right here, what we want to do is change this to performance mode. Obviously, we want to get the most performance out of our setup. However, if you're streaming and things are fine, they're looking good, you can potentially bump that up to quality. But to start, stick with performance. That's going to give you the best possible performance. Again, profile is going to be switched over to main right here. It's going to be GPU zero and max B frames is two. And that is essentially all of the settings that you need to set up in Streamlabs OBS to get the most most out of your streaming setup on a low budget computer. So hopefully that helps you out with your Streamlabs OBS settings. However, if you're still having other problems or you're still not being able to stream in your computer, there's a few other things that you can do to try and improve your performance. First up is just closing out any unnecessary apps on your computer. If you have Spotify running, if any Google Chrome tabs are open at all, they're going to eat up RAM on your computer like crazy. Google Chrome just 
eight resources from your computer. Turn all of them off if possible and minimize them. Next up is alerts on your stream. You may find that when you get an alert, you get a new follower, a subscriber, a donation, you might want to have a GIF pop up and sound play and some animation come in from the side, but animations are really CPU intensive, a lot more than you might think. So if you've got them running, make sure to turn them off and have static pop ups on your screen. And that is going to minimize CPU resources. Another obvious one is just lowering the settings of the game that you are playing. If you're going ahead and playing, a game don't max it out don't go ahead and try and run in the best settings put it to something reasonable where the game still looks okay you're getting a reasonable fps and lower it down as much as possible where you still feel comfortable playing and it is still Liable. because that's obviously just going to open up some more resources to be directed towards your stream instead of being directed towards your game and last but not least is just use a simple overlay on your stream again no animations nothing crazy going on just have it static keep it simple and add as little sources to your stream and stream labs as possible you don't want to go out there and have some crazy stream setup if you don't have the computer or the hardware to run it hopefully this video helped you guys out hopefully you can now go and stream hopefully it works on your computer let me know down below if it does there is also a written article for this if you just want to check out the settings it's down below in the description you can see it here on the screen it goes through everything that you need to know about this at getonstream.com if you like these videos make sure and hit that like button hit subscribe if you're new here and i'll see you guys in the next one